So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Git and how to set up Git Bash and our Windows Terminal. So properly we'll integrate them. So now, uh, first, I hope you have watched my previous video where I have shown you how to set up Python, how to set up your uh, Windows Terminal. Okay, Python thing is not mandatory, but you have to set up Windows Terminal because I'm going to use uh, Git Bash and uh, integrate with Windows Terminal. So you can watch my previous video if you have not set it up your Windows Terminal. Now, if I open Windows Terminal, so it is using PowerShell by default. Okay, I'll close this. First, what I need to do, I'll open my Google Chrome. I will go to Git. So I will go to Git. So as you can see, there is this link which shows git hcm.com download for Windows. You can download from here also, like download from Windows, you can download this version also. Like this one, 64 bit for Windows setup, but generally I download it from here, git for Windows. Now, the reason why I download it from here, there is no particular reason. You can download from anywhere. I download it from here. Okay, I download my Git from here. I, I guess both are having the same version, like 2.3.9. Okay, both are having the same version. 2.3, 2.39. Okay, fine. So download. I'll give both of the links. You can download from anywhere. And I downloaded it. Okay. By the way, if I close this, you can see my download folders are, are not present. Uh, I have seen people even struggling to do to find the download folder, like right click personalize. I'll go to themes. I go to desktop icon settings and here I will enable computer and user files. I also have control panel. Wow. wow. So, so classic control panel. Okay. I'll go apply and okay, I'll close this. Okay, so now we have this. I'll go to my directory and here I'll go to downloads. Yeah, so I have Git. So before installing Git, I recommend you that you also install Visual Studio Code. Okay, that is also recommended. So I just made a video on how to install it. If you are stuck, you can watch that video. I, I hope no one should get stuck in this simple thing, but I still have uh, got a video. Uh, so you can watch that. So I recommend you to install Visual Studio Code before installing it. Now, when we install Git, click yes, click next, uh, next. I generally disable this, so we don't need them. Uh, just check these boxes, check daily for Git for Windows updates and add a Git bash profile to your Windows terminal. Okay. And you, if, if you want, you can disable this. Okay. Because uh, Git is going to tell you, okay, there is a new version. Do you like to update? Do you like to update? I keep it open, but you might not like that notification every single day. But definitely do check this out, like do check market, like add a git bash profile to your Windows terminal. Now if I click next, next and here, I don't want Vim, I want Visual Studio Code. This is the main reason why I installed Visual Studio Code before installing it. Use Visual Studio Code as Git's default editor. Does it like, is it like mandatory or something? I really don't know. I don't think it is mandatory to install Visual Studio Code before you get installing it. By default, the option will be selected as Vim and you can install with Vim also. But I generally like to install Visual Studio Code as per the Git's default editor. So if I do next and yeah, generally, I generally use this override a default branch name for new repositories. So generally previously we used to write master, okay. That is the get thing. If you want, you can go with master, okay? Or else you can go with main, whichever you like, I'll go with main. Okay, I'll select this one. I'll go next. Now here I, I select this one. Install all the tools from get. So now I'll press next. Uh, bundle SSH. Even I go with this next, I check uh, next. Here also next. Here also next, next. Yeah, just enable the symbolic link. Okay, and do next. 
डोंट लाइक इफ यू नो वट यू आर डूइंग यू कैन सेलेक्ट दिस बट आई रियली डोंट नो वट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंटल फीचर एक्चुअली डज एंड आई नेवर रिक्वायर्ड दैम सो आई वोंट यूज दैम सो नाउ आर गेट इज बिंग इंस्टॉल्ड सो नाउ गेट इज कंप्लीटली इंस्टॉल्ड इफ आई डू लॉन्च गिट बैश you can see this is the git bash okay now generally in git bash you can see there is no base and the font is also not good okay it's like very small even i can't see clearly but you can press control and you can do scroll up scroll down okay so like this you can change okay so generally what i do first i come and do conda in it we have already installed conda i hope you have done it if not do check that video conda in it i'll make this uh, screen a little bit larger okay it made some changes maybe let's close this and okay git bash git bash okay it didn't make many changes now type conda init conda init bash let me again make this bigger conda init bash now if i press enter it modified the bash profile so this is the this is the only piece of modification that we want now again if we go and if we do conda and git cmd not git cmd sorry it's git bash yeah now i hope you can see the base right so this is what we require we require the base now this is the base environment our conda's base environment now i want the whole git bash to be present inside my windows terminal that i installed so you can see if you do right click and if you have installed windows terminal your this option should come in open in terminal okay it should come in like that's what how i have seen it it it, it comes in open in terminal if not you can go over here and you can search the for terminal over here but it should come in uh, for your case also so if i open in terminal now here if i open this you can see there is windows power shell windows command prompt azure cloud shell and you have the git bash okay don't worry if you don't have git bash over there but if you have just click it and if you don't have i'll tell you what to do so just do git bash and yep now you can see you have a base environment setup so now what you need to do go to settings okay we always need our git bash to be the first one to turn on like it should be the default profile so for example if i close all of this and if i again open open in terminal now see always we are opening windows terminal which i don't want i want git bash to open so just come to settings it's pretty simple come to windows powershell do git bash okay and just do save close this and if you open again open in terminal you can see your git bash is starting and yeah this is working fine but if in case you don't see git bash over here just make sure you have installed git bash properly selected all the options that i have showed you okay because this is like a uh, this is like a clean windows machine nothing was installed i am installing completely from scratch so i am presuming that uh you have installed git properly and windows terminal properly in case of windows terminal there is nothing much that you can do it will be installed automatically from the windows store but you have to take care while you are installing git bash okay while installing git and git bash now here uh if you don't if you still don't get that option okay if you have installed everything correctly and you don't get that option uh, i'll show you how it is done so you have to open this json file okay you can set up profile over here but i would recommend you come and open json file so if you open the json file 
okay you can see we have this options this one present okay i'm trying to make the screen larger trust okay but it is not able to i'm not able to magnify but this is the setting that we want right so just make sure that you uh, put this setting over here so we have a list inside that list we have dictionary okay and just put the dictionary over here and this one over here guid this name uh, hidden false name git bash shores git bash okay just put this profile over here and what id you are copying it over here just make sure you copy it okay what id you are putting it over here just make sure you copy it and paste over here default profile okay this should both should be matching and that's that's all that's all i generally use little bit of customization i'll show you my customization so i have a notepad file over here uh oh okay notepad so generally i use some few customizations you can also use that so generally i have a theme going on okay i have a cursor shape going on you can use that also so generally if i do color scheme as ala blaster this is not required by the way like now you are completely done with git bash if i close this you are completely done with git bash and your windows terminal so if i open in terminal this is done yeah this is done completely done but i like to customize little bit not much little bit uh, so generally there is a very good website i'll show you from where you can customize your git bash so the website is windows terminal themes if you come over here so here you can see there are so many things that you can like so many things that you can pick you can pick the dark theme you can pick the light theme generally i go with light theme okay but there are many there are like there are many themes you can use okay let's pick any one of them mm. okay let's pick the f this one i generally use this one ala blaster but we can use atom one light okay so what we need to do get theme so it is copied to our clipboard okay just come to here go to settings open the json file okay do you trust author of this file just i'll close this and just paste your settings over here just paste it right click paste and your settings is pasted so this so this is done but we also need to mention that we want to use this atom one light so for that what we'll do we'll come over here and we will give uh, let me see what is the name of the property it's called less color scheme okay so we'll come over here and we'll type color scheme and we will give the color scheme that we just copied so if i give control c control v like i copied this and i pasted it over here okay and if i save it now and if i come to back to my terminal if i save this you can see it turned completely white isn't isn't that nice okay so now we can close this and we can close this one also now see it's so it's so nice if i do ls all now all our like not all like few of our of our linux commands also works like ls you can do ls minus l you can do and maybe and few other commands okay uh, i think even grep also works over here yep and touch also works over here okay so few of the commands work so there is another little customization that i generally do so you can see this information over here 
okay the color like i can't show you because of the color this information my name at the red desktop this part of it you can see my mouse right this information like it will show you all the time and i really don't like it being shown at my face all the time because this is something that is required to me but not this so i'll show you how you can customize this part so uh, to do that what we will do we'll open visual studio code okay but here we have to do some few changes we can't si simply open visual studio code we need to open that as an administrator and now i'll open that as an admin and i will close this because we don't need this file i'll open my uh, open a file uh, i'll come to here i'll come to c drive i'll come to program files now here i'll come to git here i will come to uh, etc here i will come to profile d and here we can see git prompt okay so just open this uh open now here inside line number 15 okay i hope you are able to see line number 15 right this line okay what you have to do you have to paste this one like you do and paste this that's it okay previously it was this and now it became this okay just paste this so what it is going to do previously it it, it said that uh, put the username and put the host details okay so we don't want the host and the username to be present okay we want it to be completely blank so so just come over here and just paste this okay it's pretty simple i guess just remove this part and save it and that's all that's all now if i close this close this and if i open in terminal now see it's showing nothing now it looks like similar to how my terminal looks like if i do ls minus l if i do dir okay so now this works now uh, we can check the python version over here you have already installed conda and this is how you set up your windows terminal your git now let's check the git obviously git will work because this is git bash only so see it is also working so this is how you set up your windows terminal your git and a little bit of customization that you might not require but i showed you how you can do it okay so i hope this video was a little bit helpful if you found this helpful just press the like button and uh, thank you for watching i'm going to see you in an upcoming awesome video